In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Kessel light mount with a TV stand. Hi there guys, welcome to my channel, Reef Gang. Uh, today I would like to show you guys how to build a light mount um, for the Kessel 160 WE using a uh, what originally was a TV mount. So this is what we will be using. Uh, basically, this part is just a normal TV I picked up for little to nothing online um, and then just made a custom L bracket and connected the Kessel 160 WE to it. Um, it seems like it's going to work really great, but we have another one we need to make for the aquarium behind me. So I'll go ahead and take you guys through the process to make another one. Um, I know in a video I made a few videos ago, uh, I showed you guys how to make the light mount for a Kessel A80, I believe it is. It's like the tuna blue, it's the nano Kessel light. Turned out really good, and if you would like to know how to do that, Go check out one of my other videos. I'll put the link in the description for you. This is the light mount itself, the way it comes in the box. So basically we just have some instructions for a TV mount, which we're not using that for. And then we have the actual light mount itself. And this does come with a bag of hardware. And it's very important to keep this because there is a couple spacers in here that we will be using to mount the light. But mainly, this is all we need. Alright, so to get started, we'll go ahead and toss this stuff to the side, and we'll just focus on the light mount for right now. We're going to first by, uh, start by taking this front plate off that will connect to the TV. We don't really need that. So there is simply a hand nut back here. We'll go ahead and get that off of there, and toss all of that stuff to the side. Now, we will want to go ahead and take this bracket off next. There is a small nut on the back side and a Phillips head screw or bolt on this side. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Just like that. Okay, to give a little bit more in-depth, so this is the uh, TV mount itself. This is what I picked up for little to nothing online. Um, and it's pretty good quality, can't complain. And then we made this little L-shaped bracket here, if this will focus. And basically, it's just a normal uh, wood bracket. Um, picked it up at Walmart and made a few modifications, cut it down made the holes a little bit bigger and connected it straight to the Kessel 160. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Now with this piece off, uh, there is a square head. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, this part is square. Uh, we do not need that and plus it is too small. So we're gonna go ahead and use a stepper bit and dr drill that out into a 3 8 hole. That way we can use a 3 8 bolt through it. This is the stepper bit, you can see it. We'll go ahead and use that and drill that out now. I went ahead and used a stepper bit on it and so now we can fit a 3 8 bolt through there just fine. So that's what we needed for that part. Next we're going to go ahead and take these brackets. I picked these up at Walmart, I think they were like a dollar or two. Um, very inexpensive, they come with some wood screws and then the bracket itself. So we're going to go ahead and get one of those. And basically, we have to mod this a little bit. Uh, there are four sets of holes in here, or four holes, I mean. Uh, we only need two of the holes, uh, one on each face. And so what I plan to do is cut this off as close to that bolt hole as possible. We wanna try to keep it as close to there. This will be the light side. This is what will actually mount to the light itself. This other side, we're gonna cut it close enough to this top hole so that when we mount it to here, it will still come in contact with this upper piece and then the bottom piece. And then when we go to tighten it down, it will just form and bend into that. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now. We'll go ahead and get started with that. 
uh, as you can see, we went ahead and cut it already. So basically what we did is uh, we used a stepper bit on this, made it to a 3 8 clearance hole, and we cut this uh, upper hole off. And then this is the TV mount side itself. Let's see if this will focus a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is the TV mount side that itself. And then on this side, this is the actual side that will mount to the light. I screwed up on this one, but it will work. As you can see, we basically had this upper piece um, kind of fall through. There's a gap now. I cut this too short, and then I, when I went to use a stepper bit on it, it just kind of broke loose. So that's no big deal. Uh, this will be covered up with a black washer, or spacer, I mean, and the input wire and the power wire of the Kessel light itself. So it's not that big of a deal. But on my other light, uh, the first one I made, I did not have that issue. However, I did use a stepper bit on it first and then cut it. So I highly advise to do that before doing it the way I did and messing up. I could go and make another one since I do have more brackets, but this is not that big of a deal since it's just for my eyes, nobody else's. And you won't see it. I will know about it, but I won't ever see it. We are going to go ahead and start getting everything put together now, starting with this bracket and the TV mount bracket itself. So basically we are used to using a stainless steel 3 8 by 3 quarter bolt with a 3 8 stainless steel lock washer. Uh, I like to put the bolt and the lock washer on the outside. And then put the nut on the inside. Typically I like to put the lock washer on the same side as the nut, but uh, with the room that we have between the TV mount, with this side of the TV mount, and the back side of this, um, we'll just go ahead and put the lock washer on the outside, the same side as the bolt head. Not a big deal. So then we'll go ahead and use a 9 uh, socket and a 9 16 wrench and we'll go ahead and tighten that down. As we tighten it down, it will bow. And by that I mean, went ahead and tightened it down and the bracket itself, the silver bracket, actually formed to the curvature of this black bracket. It's not a big deal. As you can see, instead of this being completely flat, the silver piece bows up. So what we will do is once it's mounted to the TV mount, we use a pair of pliers, grab this, and just simply bend it down to where it'll be completely flat. Not a big deal at all. So we'll go ahead and mount the bracket to the TV mount. If you get this bracket, you will have two black washers. Those are very important in order for the black bracket to swivel. It just reduces the friction in between the bracket and the TV mount. If you get a different bracket, you may not have to worry about those, but with this particular one, you do. And I am never able to get this on my first try, so this might take me a minute. And after a little bit of finagling, we now have it mounted, so we'll go ahead and tighten it down. It's very important that when tightening this down, you do not want to tighten it down all the way, since this is a pivot tool bracket. You want it to have a little bit of play in it. So this is tightened down, but yet with a little bit of force, we can still move it to the correct angle that we need it to be at. So that will definitely do the job for us. And so now we'll go ahead and get the light and get it mounted to the bracket. But first we're gonna go ahead and straighten this out as I was telling you about. So all I'm doing here is using a pair of pliers 
taking and grabbing the bracket. And it's simply, oh, that did not turn out that well. We gotta fix that. And you just simply wanna play with the bracket until it is straight. So that'll be good for this portion. We'll grab the light and then we will get that mounted as well. Before we go ahead and light them out, I was mentioning that there is a black washer we will need in here, or black spacer, I mean. That black spacer is this piece right here. Basically, what we will do is we will take this hole and use a stepper bit on it and make it to where a 3 8 bolt can fit through that. If we had a half inch bolt instead of a three quarter, that would work. However, this is three, uh, three quarter was the smallest thing that Lowe's had in stainless steel. So that's what I'm gonna use and to compensate for that quarter of an inch, we will use that spacer. That should work in order to mount that TV mount to the light itself. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so went ahead and got the other Kessel 160 out. And basically the way this is going to mount is to look like that, kind of like I showed you with the other one. And as for the washer and the lock washer, the way I'm doing this is I use the lock washer on the bolt first and then insert the black washer that came with the hardware kit with the light. And with that, I'll go ahead and put this in the bracket. I'll basically go ahead and get it started and then use a 9 16 socket to go ahead and tighten it down, or at least to get it started. And just as a personal preference, I like to straighten this out as much as possible. There's a square nut on the light itself. I just like to square that bracket up with it. Um, just a personal preference thing. You don't have to do it that way. That is just the way that I like to do it. So we'll go ahead and finish tightening it up. Okay. All right, so it is now tightened up and we are at the point that the other one is at. So basically, this is the way it's gonna look. Um, it just hover over the tank. The only thing I can see that I might change is the bracket. It's silver uh, In the future. I might think about making that black um, With the stainless steel hardware or just kind of fit more with the rest of the light mount Shouldn't be an issue though But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and get things ready. We'll go ahead and mount them on the wall and then I'll get back to the video but this is how uh, that I'm planning to do the lights for the 38 gallon. I think it'll look really nice. The whole idea of this tank is to make it very modern and this will be a big piece of that. Okay, so here is basically the lights mounted. Um, I still do not have these wires or anything mounted. We're basically going to use some type of hole, stick these to the wall make it look a little bit nicer like we did the five gallon. But other than that though, it's definitely coming together. I really like it, it's kind of like a modern look. The lights are the Kessel 160, A160 WEs, just like I mentioned before. They're a little overpowered for the tank, however, we're gonna keep the intensity very low and uh, we'll be able to control all that via the Neptune Apex controller. Other than that, they should work very nicely for what we're going to do. All right guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, this is a pretty easy DIY process for a homemade Kessel A160WE light mount. I really like it, and like I said, the whole idea of this thing behind me is to keep it very modern. I want everything to be kind of hidden and floating. So in essence, over the top of the tank, I want you to be able to see nothing. Um, I just think that's really cool. Plus, with the way these lights are mounted and their LED, there should be a very nice shimmer effect. I'll be able to mount the lights high, and I'll be able to adjust them at any angle I want to with both lights. But 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more content, and we'll see you next time.